So on the way back, uh, in a march unit, the female officer in uniform, armed, we use armed detention officers for these transports, had a female inmate in the back uh, by the name of Diana Herrera. And we have her mug shot here. And I believe her date of birth is July, is it July 15? July, I have it here somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, July 25th, 1992. Hey guys, this is Andre, Horizon City News. I just wanted to uh, make this quick video regarding this woman named um, Diana Herrera, which, as you saw in my last video, uh, the sheriff explained that um, she was bold enough to try to reach and grab the uh, detention officer's gun inside the transport vehicle. And um, I was browsing through the jail records, and she has a lot of charges. Um, even if I'm... Because there was many, 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 many uh, listings of Diana Herrera for various criminal charges going all the way back to, like, 2008, 2009. And um, even if just half or a quarter of those charges are her, like, I'm saying that even if there is some other Diana Herrera that happens to exist in um, El Paso County, Texas, even if that was the case, there would still be a lot of charges for this woman. So, um, she has, whether they're small or large charges, um, she's been involved with the criminal justice system for many, many years now. And now this newest charge she has, this, uh, attempted capital murder against that detention officer. I'm very interested in, uh, what's going to happen to this woman because I, I don't know if this is very normal for El Paso County, Texas. Uh, I don't know much about like all the criminal gangs and stuff that are here. I know that overall it's a pretty safe city, but that doesn't mean we don't have that. That doesn't mean we have zero crime. So, um, what makes this interesting to me is that you know not only is this someone who has a lot of you know criminal record, and now they did something as bold as this, and now they're getting a attempted capital murder charge, but then also it's a female, which I thought was really interesting. And um, she's five foot three, 160 pounds, according to the jail records, which is pretty typical for a female. Um, just doesn't seem like something that a female would do, in my opinion, but obviously I was wrong. So um, anyway, I'm going to be do trying to get some more information and records I can't make any promises. I don't know what I'll come up with, but I, if I do come up with something, obviously, as you guys know, I'll put it on my channel. Um, yeah. Hopefully the uh, sheriff's office does more of these press conferences in the future. Uh, maybe I've been oblivious and I've been missing them. Maybe they've been having them in the past and I just didn't notice because I found this press conference on Facebook and I'm not usually a Facebook guy when it comes to, you know, watching videos and stuff like that so maybe i should focus on um going to various spots on facebook to try to get uh, some of my my videos and other information anyway um hope everybody is having a, a good fourth of july weekend the weather's pretty decent here even for the summer in the chihuahua desert here in el paso and uh i can't complain i definitely I'd rather be here than many other places in the, in the world. So, anyway, again, I hope everybody's having a good 4th of July weekend. I'll be in touch. You, you guys can always reach out to me with any news tips. And I uh, hope everything's working out for everybody. And you guys try to, to watch your wallets and try to limit your driving so you're not wasting all that, that precious gasoline. And... Um, just uh, clip your coupons because times are tough out there. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.